What's up, everybody? I hope y'all had a great holiday. Holidays, Christmas, New Year's. It's been kind of crazy weather here, and I've been out of the loop, off the net, signed off for a while, but I'll tell y'all why. Had some big, big things pop up in the life. Now, it sounds like they're chasing somebody on the other side of town. So today's video is gonna be more of a storytelling video. It's gonna be a story of about six years in the making. If you've been following my Instagram page, and if you know me personally, you know I had some big, big announcements this holidays. We kind of sat on it a while and we didn't really want to tell a lot of people kind of like what's going on. We didn't even tell our family until about mm, after New Year's when you just couldn't hide it anymore and all your friends had like basically found out through the grapevine and then were mad at you because you didn't tell them. You know how that goes? We had some obstacles and we had some things to overcome and we had to kind of figure out our lives before we could kind of make this decision. And a lot of people have asked me, Jack, Jack, when are you gonna get a ring? Well, well after six years and her putting up with early morning fishing trips. So Samantha's perking up. Perking up. She wasn't so perky earlier. It's me trapping squirrels. I got it right here. He was in the collared patch. Check it out. Me asking her to cook water moccasins, which she kind of actually liked. I have never seen anything like this in my whole entire life. The snake is curling up as Jack is holding the skin of it. It's wild. It is absolutely wild. It makes me scared. What? Holy <laughs> Samantha's <laughs> <laughs> chowing down on it now. Had to talk her into it. That batter turned out really good. And a lot of Blue Angels craziness. She even put up with all my shenanigans with the video camera. Next time Samantha will know. <laughs> Get it across the water. Yes. You got it! Oh! We'll let it go deeper, Samantha. Bring it this way. <laughs> Grab it! Yeah, we might want to leave those on there. We might need those again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let the water just keep. I don't mean, I'm It was good. I caught a remora. Got uh, my bait stolen a lot of times, so at least I know something was happening. I hate not catching anything. You know, because I always got a video camera with me because life's worth documenting. So Samantha said we needed firewood out of the trash pile. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what this thing's all about, documenting so one day we can remember. But she was always supportive and she always listened to me, even though she didn't always want to, especially with the water moccasin shenanigans. But I've been truly blessed for her to uh, put up with those and I really don't even know how I wound up where I've wound up. Been to a few different continents, been to war, went from the army and back. Ran into this house, renovated it. She helped me the whole way. Almost drowned in the Dustin Harbor. Uh, rolled kayaks of learning how to surf, which I'm still not very good at. Life transitions and really not knowing what I was gonna do have brought me to this point. But on Christmas Eve night, I said, now's my chance. I'd picked out the ring before and she was getting pretty wary on what was up. It was probably one of the most awkward things I've ever done. I thought I was gonna have a plan, I tried, but she's a very inquisitive person. You can't put much over on her, especially when you live in the same house. And I think she kinda knew it when I give, wouldn't give her the combination to the safe, because I knew she'd go in there and look for it. Samantha literally counts the presents underneath the tree. She knows about what size box is everything, so I literally hid this thing in a giant box with a little box. I knew maybe that would pull the wool over her eyes, just a hair, and I couldn't do it on Christmas Day because then she would know. Nervous. So I, pick, I let her pick out a box on Christmas Eve. <laughs> what? Are you nervous? Two boxes actually, because I was kind of pinned in. Her mom gave me this little ornament to give her if I gave her the ring. So I had to put the ornament on the tree, which meant I had to do it before Christmas. Like a crowd watching me open. Ooh. So, Christmas Eve night. A little box. <laughs> Nine o'clock. She wanted to get in the hot tub, and I said, Wait, we gotta open a present. Is it empty? <laughs> it could be. 
And then she opened the present. Let's not. Mm. Oh, it smells good. You know, she kind of got mad at me for her not being dressed up and us being able to take photos. Well, she, uh, I got up on Christmas Eve got dressed and I was ready to make my move and I kept at telling her, hey, let's get dressed for Christmas Eve. And she just shows up in Uggs and leotards and none the wiser. All right, Samantha, what you got to say? Big day. Yeah! Jack proposed are Christmas you, are Eve. Are excited? Very excited. She didn't know what's going on. I did it in a big box. Coming. She told me to uh, get dressed today and I, I didn't put any makeup on. Yeah, or... so for the record book, I got up this morning, I took not put nice clothes. I was like, hey, let's get dressed up for Christmas Eve. Yeah. Uggs, leotards, and Well, flannel. I didn't know what he meant by dressed up. Like, we are going to Walmart, like Walmart dressed like, up. Hey. Or, and then we were driving like, down the road, nice she's like, why are y'all dressed up? I was like, uh, okay. it's Christmas Eve, let's get dressed up. Nope. Oh well. <laughs> but I'll tell you, we got it done. We got it done, it was awkward, and it's not really a thriller story. But it had to be done, we did our best. We're happy, and we're ready to take the next step. Who knows when that'll be, I think it'll be sometime in the summer, spring, we're just gonna go ahead and get done. We've been together long enough. We gotta go ahead and move. Okay, so thanks for everybody out there that stuck with us on this journey and all y'all that kind of pushed me into making the move because without the support out there, I don't know if I could have done it. It was a tough one. Probably one of the most nerve wracking things I ever did besides giving a combat brief or traveling down route Tampa or Erbil or some crazy ID that might go off. I made it. We made it. We got it done. So this video was really to kind of update y'all. We're live. That's where we've been for the last two-ish weeks. Laying low, enjoying being engaged. What are you making, Samantha? It's a base layer for the famous pecan fingers. Uh -oh. I now have a fiance. Isn't that nice? And uh, that's what this vlog's about. Tomorrow we'll be back with a crazy video or the next day we'll be chasing squirrels or jumping off of a kayak or trying to wrestle something. But thanks everybody, hope y'all have a great weekend. Happy holidays. Hope everybody got what they wanted. That was my present. I'll see y'all tomorrow. So the new brewery's opening up here, close to the west side. Me and Rob's checking it out over here. Okay, it's brand new. Kind of fancy, they might kick us out of this joint. Samantha. <laughs>